Hi Libras, welcome, welcome. So let's go ahead and get started, love bugs. All right, if, oh, here we go. I shuffle these three times. If nothing comes out, six cards get pulled out from the top. And we are getting cards flipping and flying. Flipping and flying for Libras. Jeez. Last shuffle. <laughs> You guys are getting a lot of cards. I do three shuffles because it says mind, body, spirit. Bottom of the deck is the five of swords. So there is some type of conflict going on. There could be some arguments going on. Um, how I'm feeling is like mental conflict or arguments. Okay. It's like a lose-lose situation. All right. So you guys got a lot of freaking cards. Lots of cards. So I'm going to read this storybook style because I'm not going to sit here and interpret everything. <clears throat> All right. All right. So nine of pentacles, we have a wish coming true. It's going to be a surprise with that tower. It's going to come in unbeknownst and un real fast. But there's somebody holding back, holding on. And they could just be holding, um, just holding on to themselves. Or this could be in regards to trying to build a structure, but trying to utilize the the foundation where this tower came from. All right, which is still faulty. And that's where this conflict lies. All right, in regards to divine timing, there is abundance coming in. Things are going to work out in your favor. But then we have deception because that deception is coming from building on to a, a building a new foundation from the old one, all right? This is what I'm getting from this. This is like greed. This is surprise. Boom. Something happens, all right? Um, so building this faulty foundation is just deceiving yourself, is robbing yourself of this forward movement and communication, all right? So somebody could definitely be lying, cheating, stealing in, um, in the night, and they're... <laughs> How I'm feeling this mostly is about lies. Somebody's lying in regards to the communication. All right, and this has been bothering you. It's annoying you, and it ticks you off. All right, because you've been trying and trying and trying with this person. But it's like they leave you in confusion. They, they like, the communication with this person, it's like you don't understand why they're being so dumb. It's like you lie so much through your teeth, I can tell. And it's it's so annoying to you that it's it's becoming a burden. You keep trying to communicate with this person, but it's like you don't know how to do that. And it's right in regards to getting some type of payment, in regards to some type of opportunity. All right, um, but what I'm also seeing here is from that this confusion, you're needing to ground yourself. All right, that Ace of Pentacles is here to ground yourself. Ground yourself. What is it that you need? All right, how to simplify that communication? All right, because we have fears, worries, and anxieties, or overthinking a situation in regards to a finance or in regards to an opportunity. All right, but with this wand here, with this Ace of Wand, there is a new like all right burdens released now it's time for me to take action all right i've done i'm done i'm done let's take a new way a new route to do this all right and then we have that two of wands all right so it's like you get what you want you pretty much get what you want why i say this versus there's distance yeah there could be distance but how i'm seeing this with from this ace to this two it's like you know you got what you needed. This is a doorway. This is you going through that doorway, getting what it is that you need, what it is that you want. But again, the bottom of the deck, conflict, all right? Mental conflict or fighting with somebody. All righty. Apply that to your situation, however that came out, all right? Um... We're going to go ahead and go into the uh, Romance Angels. So, Romance Angels for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All 
Now, the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands could be that your passions and your desires, what it is that you're wanting to go towards, is actually at a distance. You're needing to travel at a distance, but you're having these mental conflicts about how to do so. All right, here we go. So the first card we got out is forgiving and learning as you release and heal from the past or heal the past you experience more love in the present moment okay so needing to let go of the past all right that five of uh that five of swords could be something in regards to something that you kept thinking about in the past all right don't let the past hit you in the you know where all right Next card we have out is pay attention to the red flags. These signs are cautioning you. Again, in regards to that seven of swords, somebody is lying, cheating, stealing, manipulating, all right? Somebody keeps coming back and trying to do this. Now, this could be somebody or some energy, all right? This could be a mind thought, uh, a mindset, even with that five to the seven. This could be very ego, or this could be in regards to a narcissist, okay? And then we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. All right? Have faith in the unfolding. Just know that anybody that tries to lie to you to steal from you, any narcissists, they're going to get their justice. They're going to get their karma. The karmic scales are going to balance Libra because you are the balancing scales. All right? Let that go in love bottom of the deck let your friends help you ask for and ask for and accept help from others so let your friends help you if you don't have any friends let your friends in the ethers help you your spirit guides your angels your team of angels are always there to help you the thing is you have to ask Okay, if this is in regards to help that you really need help and you don't have any like, you know, if you have family and friends, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. Honestly, closed, closed mouths don't get fed. So if you need something, speak up. Maybe somebody, maybe your friend knows a friend or knows an organization or knows some type of resource that that can help you. All right. So ask for and accept help from friends family whoever is on your side to help support you all right let's go into the angel answers angel answers for libras angel answers for libras angel answers for libras angel answers for libras please last one We have get more information. Get more information. You know, there's like community projects out there. There's resources that are available to you in regards to whatever assistance that you may need. All right. Get more information. If this is in regards to a situation where there is lying, cheating, stealing, or somebody keeps bothering you or harassing you, then you need to get more information on how to get a restraining order, something like that. All right. Then we have let go. So what was it saying? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, let go of trying to control it. And then we have, there's something better. There definitely is something better. You don't need to worry about this. This is, does not, it's like it does not need to even, this is not even worth your energy to worry about. Like, oh, Becky, that's easier said than done. Yeah, it's easier said than done. I totally agree. But this is trying to rob you from your precious energy. This, let, let me pull out these cards for you, boo-boo. Let me show you this in a way that maybe you can understand. Because this is what's, this is, this is really real. This is really real. Alright. 
fears, worries, anxieties, illusions, confusions, hallucinations. Wounded warriors keep trying and trying and trying uh, to no avail. Doesn't even know if it's worth fighting for. All right. Oppression, depression, burdens. We have deception, lying, cheating, stealing, negative, self-sabotage. We have greed here. All right. And then we have conflict, lose-lose. This is all a creation of narcissistic behavior. All of this is narcissists in a bunch of cards showing up. All right. What does these narcissist energy vampires try to do? They try to suck the life out of you. They try to take away your abundance. Keep you at a distance. See, they tried to keep you away from moving forward, from your abundance, from going through that door. All right? That's what the narcissist is trying to do. So there is something better pay attention to those red flags okay bottom of the deck we have you're ready you ready to deal with it you're ready to handle it you're ready to free yourself from this narcissist all right okay we're gonna do lovers oracles so the first one says trust. Transformation occurs when, um, hold on. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So once you accept that you are dealing with a narcissist, then true transformation can happen. Transformation is not from the narcissist. The narcissist is going to be a narcissist, always going to be a narcissist, all right? That's in their own decision. They made that choice. They made that decision. Transformation begins with you, all right? Trust, accept, transform. You don't have to take, you don't, like, the narcissist is going to be a narcissist, but how are you going to show up in this? How are you going to show up? Do you have to accept that this person is a narcissist? Yeah, it's better to because it's reality. Do you have to accept how they make you feel? No, you don't have to accept that. You don't have to accept how they communicate with you. You don't have to accept anything from them. You just have to accept them for who they are, a narcissist. All right? An egocentric, egotistical narcissist <laughs> all right balance is the next card love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges needing to balance yourself all right what are the healthy relationships that support and challenge you is this this person supporting you and challenging you or is this person just challenging you needing to know the difference okay bottom of the deck and the overall energy deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right do what feels right to you don't do what feels right to everybody else or don't do what feels right to to society's expectations. Do what feels right to you, okay? Because at the end of the day, you're the one that has to, to, to live with the decisions that you've made. All right, here we go with the last deck. This is the Energy Oracle cards. I wish I knew who... <laughs> Some of these artists were, so I, I, I've i lost the box and the book a really long time ago. <laughs> I think one more. All right.
right, here we go. And these were meant to be red as they fell. Um, I will leave that as that. Alrighty. So the first card we have out is Rest and Rejuvenation. So needing to rest, relax, all right, recoup from all this energy sucking thing that's going on. Rest and rejuvenate yourself from everything that's been taken away from you, that's been energy draining, okay? Because you're going to need to, um, you're going to feel really drained, especially during this eclipse season because these energy vampires or this narcissist just keeps on at it and you're just needing to rest rejuvenate from it all right then we have action so there's definitely some action that needs to be taken all right what steps and actions can you take in either in either freeing yourself from this narcissist or just well, honestly, just freeing yourself from this energy, freeing yourself from this energy, freeing yourself from the narcissist, freeing yourself from the energy vampire. All right. So then we have the thinking woman. All right. But the thinking woman came in reverse. So I will show you what the picture looks like, what the number is. But she came in reverse. So it's like you're not thinking. You can't think because of all that that is going on so the guidance here is to rest rejuvenate stop thinking because right now it's not the time for you to think right now you have no other guidance you're needing to rest and rejuvenate because when you're when you're at a state of mind where things are calm you get mental clarity but right now with this in reverse it's because you have that nine of swords you have that five of swords it's all mental like blockages okay so needing to take action in rejuvenating we need to take action in how we cleanse our mind all right so we have two that came sideways so this is a 50 50 all right so it says adjacent possibilities but it came this way. So there's a possibility that things are going to happen in a different way than you think it could. All right. And then the other card that came out sideways was door to value. Came out sideways. So this is a 50 50. Either you have it, either you have it or you don't door to value, value of yourself, value to what you bring to the table self-worth self-value how you view yourself what you bring to the table are you valuable yes you are needing to see that value because right now again mentally emotionally you are at a place where you're trapped where you feel conflicted all right so that is what I have for you, Libras. I hope that this message and these guidance help you during this week. And I will see you guys next week. Namaste and love you.